Hello, so I thought I'd show you how I tested my graphics performance and is also testing my processor performance. It's some software called 3D Mark. This is 3D Mark 11, which is using DirectX 11. This is the free version, so the options are very limited. You can basically just benchmark your performance and that's it. It does this by basically just running graphics routines. So here you can see one of the images it runs and you've got the performance down at the bottom. It measures what FPS you're getting, how many operations a second you're getting, that kind of information. And then it puts it back to its own website and compares it against other machines and other setups. So it gives you an idea of how your machine is running compared to the latest machines and a standard gaming machine and that kind of thing. Here's the results. My PC comes out pretty well. It's better than most gaming PCs. It's not as good as the latest 4K gaming PC. So I think the 4K gaming PC is running the latest i7 processors and two 980 Ti's. Now there is an interesting thing on here which is at the top saying graphics driver is not approved. So I don't know why it did that because I was running the latest Catalyst drivers. But before we go into that, we'll look at what my PC spec actually is. So, as you can see, AMD Radeon HD 7970 graphics card, number of cards 2, Crossfire is on. There's 3 gig of memory on each card, they're running at 1000 MHz and they've got 1450 MHz memory clock speed. Running the latest drivers, but the driver status is not FM approved. There again, I'm a bit confused by this. Processor i7-3820. Its standard speed is 3.6. It will overclock up to 4. One physical processor, 8 logical processors. It's got 4 cores. And there you can see the manufacturing details as well. When it comes to memory and motherboards, well, I'm running 64-bit Windows 10. I've got an X79A MSI motherboard. And I've got 16 gig of memory in there, which is eight two gig strips. And my operating system is on a SanDisk SSD. So there's nothing in this test that's explaining why I'm getting FPS drops. According to 3D Mark, my PC is pretty damn good. I did go and check out the drivers though. And what I discovered is AMD have switched from Catalyst over to a system called Crimson. So I downloaded the latest drivers for my graphics card. These aren't the beta drivers, these are the latest release drivers. Installed it all and then ran the test again. And it came up with very similar results. As you can see, it still says graphics driver is not approved, even though this is the latest AMD driver for my graphics cards. I don't know if it's something to do with the Crossfire setup, but 3D Mark doesn't like my graphics card driver even though it's the latest one available and updating the drivers has done very little to the score it's upgraded it ever so slightly but when i ran the test again it downgraded it ever so slightly so those test results are pretty much identical there's another version of 3d mark called 3d mark vantage this test directx 10 so i ran it all the way through those tests and as you can see better than 96% of results again. So DirectX 10, DirectX 11, I'm getting a very similar score for my PC. It's a pretty damn good gaming PC. It's not the greatest and latest, but it's a lot better than most people's PCs out there. So my processor is working fine. My graphics cards are working fine. So there's no hardware reason for these FPS drops. So that's one thing crossed off the list as to what could be causing the problem. If you want to test out your own PC, then their website is simply 3dmark.com. You just put 3dmark into Google and it will be the first result. That means fortunately my problem isn't going to be an expensive hardware fix, so now I can move on to more software stuff and fiddle around with that. Thanks for watching.